In this video, we will talk about how to configure Layer 3 MAC address identification on Sanfor IM. In most Layer 3 network environment, I am often see the MAC address of Layer 3 switch rather than the MAC address of the PC. The purpose for this configuration is to obtain the PC's MAC address from Layer 3 switch via DHCP, ARP, or SNMP protocol. There are some basic configurations for configuring Layer 3 MAC address identification on Sanfor IM. Step 1, enable MAC acquisition across Layer 3 network. Step 2, configure a method to obtain PC's MAC address. Step 3, auto exclude Layer 3 switch MAC address. In this video, we will demonstrate on how to configure Layer 3 MAC address identification on Sanfor IM. The picture shown here is our sample topology for this tutorial. First, go to Users, Advanced, MAC Acquisition across Layer 3 Network. Click on Enable MAC Acquisition across Layer 3 Network. The first method we can choose to obtain PC's MAC address from Layer 3 switches is by ARP packets or DHCP packets. The process is completed when ARP or DHCP packets are being mirrored to the IM unit. You need to connect a free port on IM to the Layer 3 switch in order to mirror the ARP or DHCP packets to the IM. This method has no delay in obtaining MAC address. The second method is by SNMP protocol, in which the Layer 3 switch needs to enable the SNMP protocol. This method will have slight delay in obtaining MAC address. IAM will act as a SNMP client to connect to layer 3 switch which act as a SNMP server and obtain MAC address. In this tutorial, we will be using the second method. Click on Add SNMP Servers. Configure the SNMP server's IP address and community string. Ensure the IP address and community string is correct, which will match the string created in the layer 3 switch. By default, the IP OID and MAC OID are standard OID. There is no need to modify the values and are supported by the standard SNMP protocol generally. You may click on server details to test the validity. After done settings, click commit. From here, we can see that a SNMP server has been added. You may click on the acquired IP MAC addresses in order to see the users retrieved from SNMP server. Next, tick on Auto Exclude Layer 3 Switch MAC Address. When there are multiple IP addresses based on a single MAC address identified within 10 minutes, IAM will identify it as Layer 3 Switch. The purpose is to avoid network interruption on users when the IP MAC user binding is implemented which may result in bind the users incorrectly. After done settings, click Commit. Until here, the configurations for configuring Layer 3 MAC address identification is done. Now, we will test whether correct IP MAC address binding on a PC can be successful in a Layer 3 environment. Upon successful testing, the result will be PC's IP and MAC address successfully bound together. We will configure automatically binding of IP and MAC address under an authentication policy. Tick Bind IP to MAC Address. Now, go to Status, Online Users to check whether the user has been authenticated. From here, we can see that the user has been authenticated. Now, go to Users, IP and MAC Binding to check whether the IP and MAC address has been bound successfully. From here, we can see that the correct IP and MAC address has been bound successfully. In conclusion, the Layer 3 MAC address identification has take effect. Precautions IAM supports SNMP v1, v2 and v3. If the network environment is a Layer 2 environment, there is no need to configure Layer 3 MAC address identification. Regardless the authentication type, it is advisable to enable the following options that can be found under Users, Advanced, Authentication Options. If below options are ticked, I am will auto-log out user when there is no user traffic in specific period.
DNS service will be available for user that has not been authenticated or locked. In the end of this tutorial, we have learned on how to configure Layer 3 MAC address identification, methods to obtain PC's MAC address from Layer 3 switch, how to verify IP and MAC address binding,